recording now or for sure recording oh, okay. Stefan did I pronounce it right yeah that's correct. Stefan and, and, and Benjamin here Benjamin. Try, trying to hide from the camera you can't hide man you can't hide <laughs> okay so we got some some techie stuff today we'll yeah, we'll cool. roll it from the top what do we got here absolutely so welcome to the booth of construction of the future of Putzmeister so we want to show that we're working on some cool innovative stuff here um, to be competitive in the also in the future and we brought three highlights to Bauma this year the first first one is the IPC compass control the second one is the auto pouring which is an automated pouring process in general and the third feature also pretty cool is the augmented reality machine setup so if we start from the top maybe we just quickly start with the animation um, we developed a light ring this is still a prototype it's not ready for sale um, it comes with two features we have a static light which can be turned in a 360 degree angle uh, which defines the forward position for the operator to give more control about the machine on the construction side so that's the first first uh, feature we brought here to also be able to drive complex routes on the construction site and give more control to, to the owner or the machinist. Um, second feature which is coming with the light ring is a color indication about the reach distance um, the boom still has. So if it's green of course everything's good to go. If it's orange you nearly reach the end and if it's red of course you're So done. that ties in with uh, what well, we call it ISA but you guys call it ISC yeah, correct? Yeah exactly. And we've, exactly. we've been running a machine with that the 56 meter with it for about three weeks now. Okay. And it, yeah it, it's interesting because the, the fellow on the end of the hose the common logic they're just looking at what the boom sections are doing and they think there's more reach but with isa obviously yeah. quite often there's not yeah. um so i guess that's the the that's thinking behind having the light it can indicate to them when absolutely. absolutely when the pump can't go any any further exactly. that way right exactly. okay exactly it's also maybe for beginner drivers unexperienced drivers to give more control over the overall process and um, have a, at every time the full overview about the construction site and what's going on so that's the general idea behind the light ring okay so that's, that's the light ring and that's, that's right uh, right there, right yeah. there. Exactly. so you see here the color indication so this is fake of course for uh, demonstration <laughs> reasons here uh, in the real time in the in the real world of course it changes automatically regarding on the reach distance um, but this here uh, functionality to move the white uh, light is um, the feature for the operator uh, which we want to provide to indicate a new forward direction so uh, the general idea t is to um, then only go to the forward position and the boom goes then in that direction the light is shining to. So if you're trying to boom idea. down an angled wall yeah. you would set the light on top of that angled wall yeah, and exactly. when you push forward the boom is going to do the angled, yeah, angled exactly. adjustments for you. Yeah. So it's like taking what we call it one touch, taking one touch one step further. Yeah, so yeah. that's the idea behind it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also to be very precise, maybe for formwork pouring, to do complex forms, yeah, so that's... I guess if you were doing a, a pour where you're, you're just doing repetitive, like um, one or two foot lifts, mm -hmm. and you're going around and around and around like a slip form or something, it would be really handy for that. Absolutely. You just, you just set it and... Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a good feature to have full control about all the different situations you absolutely. have on the construction set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that that was the first the first one. That's the first feature, right? Yeah. So the second one is the automated path pouring. Um, also glad to show you that one. Um, so give me a second. So in general, the idea behind it is to automat automatize the path pouring process um, in the planning and also on the construction site itself. For that, we have three um, steps to go. Either we use, for example, BIM modeling model to learn okay how is the construction site looking extract the corner points and also the cutouts um, to just have the basis from data side uh, what, what we want to pour at the end second option what we're currently investigating is to have a trimble stick a device like this with a GNSS sensor on it which is kind of a satellite signal where we can then measure the area we want to pour to a later point. This information then goes into a HMI or planning software to plan the automated path like you can see it here and um, the general idea behind it is to then um, put this information on the machine. The machine needs to set up itself for that it needs three reference points. Now the machine knows where it is and together with the planned information for the for the planned path of the auto automated process so we, sketch, we just skip here. Um, the general idea is that the um, driver is going on the construction side only 
um, is activating the automated path pouring process and the planned path is just run by itself completely. So that's the general idea behind it. So also a big support for the driver on the construction side to be able to run complex auto port processes. Like you might see it here on the mock-up we have here on the ground. Um, the idea is to just have a one um, touch support or one touch uh, running and um, then pour the whole, the whole path which is planned before. Yeah. That's the general idea behind that. So it's really automating a lot of the a yeah. lot of the process. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the general idea behind it. Um, also, still a prototype. We have still need to investigate more and right. learn more about the feedback and what the actual problems are on the construction side um, to really have a good product at the end. Um, to so this is very, very, very preliminary stages. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. it's basically a surveying stick. Yeah. So we can use that. And then applying your your setup area. Now, will that also tell you things like? Uh, in reference to pump size, what's needed for reach and whatnot as well. Exactly. So somebody like a site superintendent yeah. could use that to calculate what pump size they need. Yeah, also also a tool for that. And you all can also um, maybe think about drones flying over the construction <coughs> site to measure the area, to scan the area, and also go into planning to a later point. So where do I have to locate my machine and how big is the is the slab I want that, to That That would be so handy because that's like a big part of my, my job, daily job, is running around scouting out sites for pump setup and whatnot. Okay. To be able to do the drone. Uh -huh. If I could ideally fly the drone from home, uh -huh. <laughs> that would, would save me so much driving. Uh -huh. But honestly, even just from, from like making the video, I do being able to get the drone up and get that perspective you can get so much more information efficiently doing it that way okay so that's that's really cool that you mentioned the drone too yeah so we're not currently at that stage yeah. but we're investigating more and more learning more and uh, find out the best solution for our customers so, so the stuff that you're working on right now is things that we'll probably see in the field a few years from now is yeah, that safe to say yeah okay. i think so yeah i think so still need some time incorporate all the feedback we gather here at balma right um to really create a good a good product which really helps and benefits the right. operators yeah, and the owners of the, of the pumps. Okay, ready for the third feature? I'm ready for the third feature. Okay, sounds good, let's go. So, third feature is also, uh, from our perspective, a very handy feature. It's called the AR machine setup, AR for augmented reality. I think that's nothing too new. Um, I will show the, the video. So the idea, like it is today, is um, the pump driver goes on the construction site, sets up the machine and then recognizes, okay, I don't have enough distance or reach distance. I have to pack everything together again and relocate, okay. which can take a lot of time. Yes. We want to bring that into the digital world just using a QR code. So you place that anywhere on the construction site you think might be a good position for your, for your machine, for your yeah. actual machine. Um, use the scan the QR code and use this as an anchor to project a digital twin into the real world. So um, How cool is that? this is then fixed on that exact position and as an operator you can go around it and check for, for the reach of your boom. So and, and if you dance and then you see if the distance is long enough um, of your boom that you can set up the machine in the real world um, as such. And you spare a lot of time with this process and maybe can do it in five minutes and check if the reach is long enough or not with the um, according uh, setup position here we can see a full support of a 38 meter machine yeah, exemplary and the brown area here behind it indicates a sphere over the digital model which is an indication for the reach distance of the boom. So this would really integrate with a ISA or ISC system then? Yeah. Because that's like, it's, it's obviously new to us, I'm used to going to job sites and I know the fixed measurements for the outriggers and I'm, you know, with, with old school marking paint, painting down basically a picture of a pump truck on the asphalt. Well, now that we have ISC um, or ISA, it changes. There's so many variables now. So that's where something like this comes into play. Absolutely, absolutely. That's also our vision. We as Putzmeister then want to provide for every model in our portfolio, for every setup position, one side support, full, so full support, full flex, um, for each boom position at a later point. Right. So we, we want to enhance this solution to the best possible stage to provide maximum benefit um, on the construction site and really save a lot of time and nerves for operators or everyone who's involved into planning to decide, okay, which machine might suit for that exact construction site. Do you need a big one, a medium size or a big one? Would you know, are they already using similar stuff in the crane industry? Um, I don't know. Oh, I wonder honest. for site planning. I just find the crane industry is usually yeah. North America is a little bit 
ahead of the you know quicker yeah. to adapt than yeah. in the pumping industry i wonder if they use a similar yes. tool I could, I could imagine that they have a lot of digital tools to plan the right. construction side um like you said we also saw some stuff not exactly this idea right um but they also have some good ideas there's so much of what we see in the pumping industry yeah isa being one of them there's so much fear because it's new but it's typically stuff that's already been in the crane industry for yeah. for decades right yeah. Yeah. So we're just we're just we're slower to adapt and evolve, admittedly, yeah, right? So. We're, we're stubborn. So. But, but we still like carburetors. You guys know what carburetors yeah. are? No. A carburetor? No. That, <laughs> you know, a mechanical air fuel mixing device? Okay. You know, like old American car with a Holly carburetor? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he yeah, actually yeah, didn't. Yeah, okay, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. So no, we, we if we could have it our way, we'd still be buying new cars with carburetors. So yeah. unfortunately, we can't. So you know. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but I think we're catching up. Catching up. So uh, we try. You guys, you guys come over to come to come to Canada, and I'll, and I'll teach you about carburetors. Yeah, so that's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good yeah. deal. You teach me it. all this. I'll teach you carburetors. We would love that. We would love that. I like that. That's a really handy tool. Cool. So is, is that integrated with the um, with the, the the serving stick there as uh, well? No, or how no, does... no, no. You don't need that. So you can use any mobile device. So you can use a smartphone, a tablet. Um, you're not just. Oh, you can do it from a phone. Yeah, sure. Oh, brilliant. Sure. So the only thing you need is a QR code. Yeah. Um, which has the data behind it, of course, in a database uh, yeah. for each separate machine. In this example, it's a 38 meter machine. But the idea is to have for every machine a separate QR code. Yeah. And you just put it into the machine, go on the construction site, take the QR code, take your phone or a tablet, yeah. either way, and then you scan it and you decide. And I'm placing the, the QR code where I think the pedestal of the pump is going to be. Is that the idea? Exactly. Oh. Yeah. I love that because I always thought about like a, a 3D laser that would shoot out the four outrigger points and where the hopper is and everything else and that's basically what it what this is going to do. Yeah, that's a simpler process. Yeah, that's great. Okay, yeah. that's that, I, that that one is really cool. I like that. For example, you can uh, glue it on a on a on a cube or whatever. Yeah. So for each uh, machine you have, you have one side of the cube. Yeah. And then you just flip it around and. It, Oh like sure, sure. Yeah, now, now we're thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, that's great. Absolutely. So that's absolutely. A, that's the overall pro, um, idea behind it. So make it as simple as possible without any lights and stuff. So sure. you don't have to have the machine on the job yeah. site. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The amount of time we spend sending a machine to a job site the day before just to make yeah. sure it can yeah. set up, yeah. and it costs money, right? Time yeah. and money. Yeah, so absolutely. So this can be done in like five minutes. Five okay, minutes. I, I I really like this. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm on board with that one yeah. for sure. That sounds good. But still a prototype. We also want to learn more about right. the feedback here on Bauma. Mm -hmm. Also gather the, some additional ideas how we can enhance the solution. I think for a, a pump sales guy that drives around and plans plan sites, I I, I really like that. Yeah. It's very, very promising. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, I think we will investigate more in that and go into the further development so we can really bring a good solution up to speed for the market quite soon. If you ever need a test meal, <laughs> right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. So it's number four. That was three? We're yeah, on the that's four it. now? No, we have those three ideas behind oh. that. Yeah. We're done. You were done. Yeah. That was you. easy. I thought I was gonna get too much information nah. today and have to watch the video five times back over and replay. <laughs> no, I that's that's great. I I I, I really like that. Okay. I do. No, now here's a question. Right. The light being able to, to rotate the light from the from the um the remote control. Yeah. Would they ever do a simplified version where it was just the ability to adjust your boom light from a remote? Because you know the the booms have the fixed light, yeah. but as as the boom position changes, quite often okay. the yeah. light is not shining where you want it to. Okay, okay. Uh, we didn't think about that to be honest. So maybe you have an answer. Because that. even that is an independent feature. I think would be really cool. Okay. So maybe we can combine it with with the system. Or you, you're even just or even just dumb it down to make it just just the light for yeah. North America. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that would be. Yeah. Okay. So like a remote control for the for the like yeah just 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 a, just a light fixture oh, that would have okay. the ability to be controlled from the remote just just to rotate it or pivot it or whatever right well also great idea we will we will get that and take that into account so I think our idea in general is to enhance the solution with also more more ideas more functions yeah so that's our current prototype what we brought but um, why not bring more intelligence to it um, and maybe a second remote possibility. Um, who knows where we are in some CS years. operators got so many ideas. If out of every thousand, one of them actually came to market, I think we'd actually we'd be doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. super <laughs> valuable yeah. for us, this, uh, this feedback, yeah. because then we can go into further development for, for development and research. Um, so we have a good feature at the end. Okay, so if we ever get the adjustable light on the boom tip, 
Yeah, you're in. Credit right here. Do I get a statue out front of Putzmeister and Eichtel? A the yeah. bronze statue? Yeah, absolutely. We got this. There we go. Okay, I got it all this on camera. I so. Saw the table mounted. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I appreciate the time okay. and explanation. Yeah, thank very, you. Thank very you. promising stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks really like it. Thanks for the feedback.